What is good, y'all? Sierra Films here, and today we're back at it with another video. Now, today we will be revealing the 86 Blackout build. We will be unboxing it. Look at how beautiful the weather looks out here in West Texas. Just looks beautiful. I'm ready for the fall. You leave the crib, you got to make sure you're always strapped. 43X. I don't got a belt on me today, but it's all good. I got a holster, though. Now we put one in the head. Got the cops patrolling the streets. We got all these damn migrants invading our city. Shout out to them. Shout out to DPS. Shout out to Border Patrol. But um, we are at the academy. About to get off and see if they got any good deals on nine mil. Not gonna get too much, probably like 200, 250 rounds. Hey, baby girl didn't do too bad on her shots. She didn't cry too much for a two month old. Got my beautiful wifey. Say what's up, babe. Damn, bro. So all they got is just two blazers. This is just my lucky day. There was only two boxes of blazer over there. Went ahead and got two. I was looking for another one. Couldn't find it. Came to the 115 grain. And I got the only 124. The last 124 that was sitting there. So, yep. About to head out. About to get these three. So we can go ahead and run some drills with the 43X. So I did go ahead and add a box of DCCI mini mags. Because I've been trying to run them out the TX-22. Um, heard nothing but good things about the My TX-22 is usually not ammo picky, but... Yeah, let's see how it runs these. So back at the crib now. My wife's about to cook up some of that good breakfast. About to get some grub in me, finishing up some homework right now with SDI. Oh yeah, man, I'm graduating actually uh, September 1st. That's crazy how time flies, right? Remember I was just talking to you guys about wanting to enroll. Now I'm about to graduate in a week. So week or two, um, but my wife's cooking up that breakfast after um, she goes ahead and finishes cooking up that breakfast. We're gonna go ahead and jump right into the unboxing of the BCA 8.6 Blackout build. I'm gonna go ahead and tell you guys my initial thoughts and my plans with the build going forward. The wifey just blessed me with the long waited breakfast. Mm, we about to get it in, man. Back at the crib, and as promised, the 8.6 Blackout by Bear Creek Arsenal. Let's go ahead and clear this, drop the mag. Clear like a true AK guy. Ain't none in there, so we are clear and in a controlled environment. So, the 8.6 Blackout is a new cartridge that's been coming around. Not, not new, new, but it's like relatively new within like the last year or two so when i did the research on the 8.6 blackout the person who like actually studied the studies on this and the purpose of this cartridge it like literally just like blew my mind and it drew me to this this um cartridge right here and uh yeah we ended up uh bear creek arsenal hitting them up see if we can go ahead and review this so we're gonna go ahead and see how this puts up to the test so a few basic things about the rifle i did get the 16 inch 300 blackout right side charging handle so it is their ar10 platform um this is the moe sl stock i did go ahead and change that out might go ahead and change out this grip but i'm not too sure so as you can see right here it's a little hard to see but the barrel is a one and three twist rate and it is stamped eight six blackout right here so it is a super interesting cartridge like i said a lot of people don't really know what the eight six blackout is the best way to put the eight six blackout is that it is the 300 blackouts bigger brother so in the box when you get this from bear creek arsenal one thing that you got to keep in mind is that it does not come with a magazine so you do have to go ahead and buy a magazine which you go it takes your standard 308 magazines from uh like your regular ar10 so went ahead and picked me one of those up they didn't have the 10 rounders in stock so i had to go ahead and settle for the 20 rounder but i will be buying a 10 rounder possibly a 25 here soon i just personally don't know if i'll be filling a 20 rounder or 25 rounder because if you know anything about the prices of 8.6 Blackout, they're like $2.50 a shot, $3 a shot. So, yeah, won't be doing no magnums. Maybe, maybe, maybe for the holidays coming up Christmas. Maybe I'll go ahead and load this magazine all the way up with 8.6 Blackout and just do a mag dump. But that's going to be like a $70 mag dump, you know what I'm saying? Some of the plans for this here soon, I do plan on going ahead and buying Q's can that he has specifically for this 8.6 Blackout cartridge. So the 8.6 Blackout round is not really a um, long distance round. I want to go ahead and build this maybe with a Vortex Strike Eagle 1 to 6 up on top and then um, possibly with like a can and build it for like 75 to 100 yard like just discreet hunting because the 86 Blackout is super quiet so yeah probably gonna go ahead and be doing that can by Q up here the Vortex Strike Eagle like I said and yeah man just trying to keep this thing at 100 yards I do want to build a monster with this thing and 
if I end up liking this rifle so much, I do plan on taking it out east out there. I have some buddies that I served with in the Marine Corps that lived out there in the Georgia area and they do a bunch of deer hunting and stuff like that. So who knows, maybe get together with them one day and shoot some big game with this. Obviously probably won't, you won't need all this to shoot a deer, um, but probably you never know, get pointed in the right direction. I'll, I'll shoot a bear with this though. For real, I'll take this in the woods and shoot a bear with the 8.6 Blackout, seeing how well this cartridge performs. So yeah, that is the plans for the 8.6 Blackout. Like I said, go ahead and check out Bear Creek Arsenal. There is a bunch of other people making videos on this 8.6 Blackout. You guys should go ahead and go check them out. I start like just doing research on this cartridge because I do believe that this is an amazing cartridge. And right now, it's not too like intriguing to get into because the price point is like super high. Nobody wants to spend, like I said, $253 a shot per ammo. But eventually when this comes around and it gets into kick and more people start buying it. This will be very affordable and I believe this is a super, super dope cartridge to get into. So this is something I feel like people don't talk about. So I used to shoot at a lot of paper and then I went ahead and transitioned. I went ahead and bought a steel target and I started shooting a bunch of the steel. So I've been shooting at the steel for like three months now and I mean, I do pretty good at 25 yards, but can never really see how good I'm doing because you can't keep track of your grouping. And people say that this messes you up and I always used to think, nah, they, you know, they must be tripping or whatever, but, um, I started to notice, like I said, with the 43X, I kind of started to do, like, kind of butt. So, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and start training again on these IDPA-style targets again on the 43X. Start running 2-1, maybe uh, just straight from, a, you know, low ready, present out, fire, prime. Then go ahead and run that as a couple of drills, probably get my build drills going, stuff like that. So, yeah, that's just an FYI. If you're going to consider buying a steel target, don't forget to add a balance in there and also shoot cardboard because you will lose your good groupings and the steel does have that benefit of the nice ding whenever you actually hit it but you can't actually make progress if anything it, it made me go backwards instead of going forward so yeah make sure you're alternating and shooting at paper as well